Hey everyone, it's Dr. D and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am an assistant professor of teacher education at National University and I've been teaching online for quite some time. So even though online learning might seem really scary, it's kind of exciting to be able to create and craft how you want your lessons to look like. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can take photos and make them into virtual manipulatives for your students to use. So I came up with an idea for my student to go on a shopping adventure. It's a math project activity. It's going to hit a lot of great standards for second grade. Um, students have to learn about money and they have to be able to solve word problems in, involving dollars, bills, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, as well as using the money symbol and cent. Also, this hits on second grade social studies standards, such as basic economic concepts. Um, if you're a middle school teacher, you could take a lesson like this, which involves money, and hit a standard on decimals or adding a multiplying decimal. So there's, even though it's second grade, there's a lot of ways that you can twist, turn, and make it your own. So when you are working with Google Slides, you want your students to show what they know, right? That's a big thing about distance learning. Um, and so with my students, I like to make my own virtual manipulatives. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make real manipulatives virtual using a tool called Remove Background. So what I did earlier today is I took some photos of money because I knew that I'd want to make it into a virtual manipulative for my students to, to use during this presentation. So just start with taking photos. And if you're doing um, a lesson on shapes or area, you can always take photos and add them to your slide deck so that the kids can see the real life in a virtual space. So I took these photos. I want to begin my lesson by actually reviewing money currency. I don't want to use something that's a clip art image because it's not real and students really need to know what, you know, the money looks like in real life. So let's do it. Um, again, take your photos. That's step one. And then all I did was just email them to myself. And now I'm going to use remove background. So you can see they're on my desktop. Just drag and drop these images one at a time, which is hard for me, <laughs> into the site. Super simple. And then I'm going to download it and I'll just save it onto my desktop. Now that it's on my desktop, you can see that they've actually taken out the white desk that I took the photo on. Um, so it was a white background. It doesn't matter what the background is. Uh, obviously, try to go with the solid. And that way, when it's uploaded, it can detect what image they want to remove the background. Um, so then you go back to your slide deck or wherever you're sharing it. It could be a Google Jamboard. And you're just going to insert the image. I'll just upload it from my computer because I've dragged it onto that desktop. There it is. All right, and there is my dollar bill as a virtual manipulative. And what I mean by virtual manipulative is that my students are gonna be able to manipulate this image. So let me just show you how I would make it look um, for my students. I would rotate the image. So I'm gonna go double click on it and look at the format options, size and rotation, and rotate it. So. And, oops. And then I can also do it here. All right. Okay, and then I will crop the image. Let me shrink it down first because I don't want them to have an image this big because they're going to be dragging and dropping it into the cash register based on how much money they spend. And I can crop out some of the white space around it. So they're just moving the dollar. All right, and so there it is. So that's my virtual manipulative. Now, um, if my problem involves multiple dollars and they're gonna be moving multiple virtual uh, manipulatives into the cash register, then I just click on it and press Command-C 
and that will make a copy and then command V. Now I have several dollars. I can do things, I can try to drag and drop or I can just do a lasso. Let me move my little bitmoji out of the way here. Lasso all of them, as you can see, they're all highlighted now. And then just go to arrange and align left and then arrange align center arrange align top there we go and now you can see that they're all on top of each other so what this will allow me to do is for my students if they want to drag several dollars into the cash register they can do that um, so i've made some different situations here they're going to be buying items and they'll use coins or they'll be using dollar bills. Um, and this top will be what they want to buy. So their purchases and then their cost. So let's do some coin values again. I'll just show you guys really quick. Go to remove background. <coughs> and we'll just restart this here. Clicking on the X. I'll try this penny drag and drop from my desktop there it is you can see the white desk and they took out the background i'm sure you guys could think of tons of ways you could use this for any of your google slide presentations for me i'm always doing things with math and money and um, i love the idea of having these manipulatives be something that they could actually see in real life again i'm just going to insert the image upload from my computer. There it is. Open and then just take some time to edit. Um, I'll start here with just cropping it. So these are the borders pop up and I'll just drag it down. And there it is. And now I might want to rotate that. All right, now it's exactly how I want it to be. If I want to shrink it, I can do that. Again, cropping out the white space. Oops, control Z if I make a mistake. All right, and press return, it's cropped. Remember how I, if I want to duplicate this, I just click on it. Command C and then Command V. And I have tons of pennies. So that way they can figure out how much they spent. I will lasso these beautiful pennies. Click on Arrange, Align, Top, Arrange, Align, Center. There it is. So that's just a quick tutorial. Um, if you want to make a copy of this shopping fun presentation, feel free to send me an email and I'll send it to you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section if there's other videos that you want me to create that will help you with remote teaching this fall. Thanks so much. This is Dr. Dickinson. See y'all later.